junior championships. I go on and win the first World Cup medal that I've ever won for the United States. I have, you know, all these accomplishments start rolling, okay? And in a, end up going to the 2000, uh, in the 2000 World Cup season, and I won every single race you could possibly win. I was undefeated that year. It's actually, it's actually still never happened since, which has been awesome. I'm actually very proud of that. But from there, I had the opportunity to go to the 2002 Olympic Games in Salt Lake City. Now, Salt Lake City was, this was my breakout season. This was, this was my breakout of my career. I was 19 years old. I was coming into Olympic Games. I was a cover of Sports Illustrated. I had Nike as a sponsor. I had, uh, you know, I had the swagger of a 19-year-old. I felt good. I felt strong. I mean, I was in a good, I was in a great place. I go to these games, and I had an unbelievable experience. Ended up winning a silver and a gold medal. And it was the, the spark. It was the start of, wow, this is something kind of special. I didn't know what it truly meant to become an Olympic athlete. Looking back when I was 14 years old, I'm so happy I actually did not make that team because at that age, if I had gone to the Olympic Games at 14, 15 years old, I wouldn't understand the importance and the significance and the symbolism of what it meant to become an Olympic athlete. You know, when you go and represent your country, there's a lot of pride and honor that goes with it. And you have to represent your country to the best of your abilities, whether it's on the field of play or it's off the field of play. And when I was at that age, I had no idea. I really had no idea. So actually, that was a blessing in disguise. It really was. So moving on, maybe, so moving forward, you know, after the 2002 Olympic Games, I knew that I wanted to compete in the 2006 Olympic Games in Torino, Italy. I was growing older. I was winning more races. I was becoming undefeated. I had to go to these games under this pressure on me. You know what? I was undefeated. I'm the reigning, I'm the reigning, uh, you know, world record holder, world champion, and Olympic medalist in the 1500 meters. I wanted to go and repeat. I want to go do it again. And that experience in Torino, Italy was, was very, very interesting because I ended up actually not winning the 1500 meter. I got a bronze in the 1000, and on the final day of the Olympic Games, the final race of the Olympic Games, the final chance for me to win a gold medal, the 500 meters, which was my weakest event at the time, I actually went out and won. And I finished at, I finished after you know I finished up that Olympic Games with about five medals. Post 2006 Olympic Games, I was like, you know what? I'm tied with Eric Heiden as having the most amount of winter Olympic medals <laughs> ever won by anyone in the history of the sport. Of all winter Olympic sports, I was like, man, that feels pretty good. That feels really good. You know, I was about 24 years old at the time. And so I said, you know, I'm gonna take a break from this sport. I've been doing it for so long since about 1997. And my sport is a very young man's sport. 